Question 9, we have sequences. <laughs> so, an arithmetic sequence has first term A and common difference D. We are told the sum of the first 36 terms is equal to the square of the sum of the first 6 terms. We want to show that 4A add 70 D is equal to 4A squared add 20 AD add 25 D squared. Okay, so sums of an arithmetic sequence. We are given these. So let's take a look. So arithmetic series SN is one half A Oh, sorry, 1 half n times a add l. That's not much use to us. The guy on the right though certainly is. So we got n over 2 times 2a add n minus 1 lots of d. So let's first of all play with well we know that s We know that S36 is equal to the sum of the first 6 squared. So, let's find the sum of the first 36. So, that's going to be N over 2, so 18, lots of 2A. Now it's add n minus 1 times d, so that's 35 d. Now that is 36a add 18 times 35, which is 600 and 30. So we got 630 D. Okay. Now, let's do the same for S6. So S6 is 6 over 2, 3, lots of 2A, and 6 minus 1 D. So 5 D. Okay, so this is 6a add 15d. Now, we need to square that. So, s6 squared is 6a add 15d squared. So, that's going to give us 36 a squared. Now, 15 d times 6 a is 90 a d. So we're going to get that twice. So we get 180 a d. And then 15 squared is 225. So 225 d squared. Cool. Now, we know S36 is equal to S6 squared. So, we know then 36A at 630D is equal to uh, 36a squared add 180 add 225 d squared now that isn't 
the form that they want it in. They want this. So, we want to end up with 4A and 7D on the left. So let's see how we would do that. That would mean that we have to divide everything through by 9. So, does everything here have a common factor of 9? 36 does, good. 630 does, good. 36 does, good. 180 does, good. And I do 225 is 9 times 25. So dividing through by 9, we get 4A and 70D is equal to 4A squared and 20AD and 25D squared. Good times. Okay, now part B for 5 marks, given that the 6th term of the sequence is 25, find the smallest possible value of A. So, quite tricky. Let's think about what we know first of all. The nth term of an arithmetic sequence An is A add and minus 1, lots of the difference. Now we know that a6, the sixth term, is 25, which in terms of a and d is a add 5. D. So what we have here all of a sudden is an equation in terms of A and D. Now, we want to find the smallest possible value of A. So what we're going to do is simultaneous equations. Remember we just worked out this lovely equation in terms of A and D. We now have another one in terms of A and D, so we can eliminate D from the equations and find A. So, we know then that 5D is 25 minus 8, so D is well, 25 over 5 is 5, minus A over 5. So, what we're going to do now is substitute that into the equation on the last page. But we're going to do it nice and carefully. So, let's deal with the left hand side. First of all, so 4a add 70d. So 4a add 70d is now 70 times uh, 5 minus a over 5. Now that's going to give us uh, 4a add 350 minus uh, 70 divided by 5 it's 14 so minus 14a so that is minus 10a add 350 so that is the left hand side of that big equation. 
So now we're going to do the same to the right hand side, which was um, 4a squared add 20ad add uh, 25d squared. So this is going to become 4a squared add 20a times our substitution uh, which is 5 minus a over 5 add 25 lots of 5 minus a over 5 squared. Okay, so this is equal to 4a squared add 20a times 5 is 100a uh, 20a times minus a over 5 is minus 20a squared over 5 so that's minus 4a squared um, and then we're going to get 25 lots of now 5 squared is 25 minus a over 5 times 5 is minus a we're going to get 2 of those so that's minus 2a and then Minus a over 5 squared is going to give us add a squared over 25. Okay, so at the start of this, 4a squared cancel. So we get 100a. Uh, 25 times 25 is 6 to 5. 25 times minus 2a is minus 58. And 25 times a squared over 25 is just a squared. So if we simplify this, we've got a squared add 58 um, add 625 now then that is the right hand part of this equation so we know the left hand part we now know the right hand part. Let's put them back together. So we know that 350 minus 10a is equal to a squared add 58 add 625. Now this is quadratic, so we want everything on the same side. Add the 100a and subtract 350. We're going to get a squared um, 50a add 10a is 60a. And then 625 minus 350 is 275. So that is equal to zero. Now we need to try and factorize that. Okay, so not the nicest. Um, as a guess, I would say, well, 5 definitely goes into 
275. So let's see what happens. If we add A plus 5, um, 275 divided by 5 is 55, which is good, because 55 out 5 gives us that 60 in the middle. Ideal. So that leads us to A is equal to minus 5 or minus 55. So the smallest value of A is minus 55. Get times.